Protests continue in Acapulco, the capital of Mexico's Guerrero state, where people have been in uproar for weeks over the disappearance and murder of dozens of students and teachers and the discovery of a host of mass graves with more victims. People are openly accusing the police and criminals of working together, aided by people at the very pinnacle of power. Protests have grown in recent weeks against corruption and the rising death toll of bystanders in the country's war on drugs, a war the current government came to power criticising. In its campaign, an end to the bloodshed was promised. Instead, it seems to have increased. On Monday, protesters blockaded the airport, meaning a long walk for some travellers in the latest official building to be picketed. It's unacceptable that some people are trying to use this tragedy to justify their violence. You can't demand justice while acting with violence. At the weekend, angry crowds tried to burn down the presidential palace, but only managed to char the doors. Many are accusing the government of stumbling through the crisis. More are demanding what it's been doing since it won the election two years ago.